Hello how are you? Back again with our channel, hope you are always healthy. This story is fiction only. If there are simultaneous character names, events, or stories, that is a compatibility except this video, is an original video we add the story with our own imagination with the purpose to provide information and education for us all. Let's get started. The purpose of gait training for subjects with SCI is usually to increase walking endurance and to decrease subjects' dependency. Standing and walking can help to prevent contractures of the lower limb joints, as well as osteoporosis, spasticity, bed sores and edema, complete discharge of bladder, and prevention of bladder infection in subjects with SCI 1, 2, 3, 4. In patients with SCI, there are no main determinants of normal gait, but in recent years, there have been advancements in how the patients can increase the ability to walk. Rehabilitation procedures should focus on the development of outcome by using the neuroplasticity and by using a functional training. Spinal cord injury is spinal cord damaging that causes changes in function, most frequently and importantly, disruption in lower limb motor and sensation. Inability to walk is the most important limitation for affected patients. Among lots of serious problems which patients encounter with, but after injury the first question is, will I ever walk again? As a result, retraining the affected patients to achieve walking ability is important. The act of learning how to walk as a child in different or experiments in human and animals and revealed external assisted walking so -called gait with training tools and or equipment gait rehabilitation. When appropriate afferent in this chapter, will drive we focus spinal on gait training after spinal cord spinal injury, training and muscle SCI, activity (EMG) will be turned on even in complete SCI. However, muscle activity in complete SCI is low in comparison with healthy subjects, but muscle EMG will increase by practicing more and more during training sessions. Lovely et al. in 1990 demonstrated neuronal circuits below the level of lesion become activated by an appropriate afferent input. They established that stepping practice plays an important role in training. When the practice of stepping is accomplished, walking can be done more effective than when it is not practiced. In spinal cord, when a motor task wants to be recognized in neural circuit, it should be practiced appropriately and sufficiently. The name of this process is training. De Leon et al. in 1998 and Wurz et al. 2001 stated that appropriate afferent input activate neuronal networks below the level of injury in an SCI patients, an activated neural network generate electromyography activity for suitable function, even in complete SCI without supraspinal input. Fine, for the current video, we finished that, if you want to know more about their full story, please subscribe and like this channel. If you have suggestions and input, please comment below. Thank you for watching.